understanding positional tolerance in precision machining especially for aircraft components is very much important requirement of position tolerance goes close to 25 microns accuracy of machines in terms of positioning and repeatability plays a vital role in achieving this close tolerances in today's video we will discuss about true position position tolerance and how deviations in x and y coordinates affect position of pitches happy learning there are four holes in this block and the position of these holes with respect to each other the tolerance is given as a linear tolerance both x and y now if you look at this drawing the holes are given shown with the dimension as true position you can see this dimension in a box and that is for true position so this 100 and 50 are true position and there are two three datums in this drawing datum a is for this plane and datum b is of one hole and positions of other holes are controlled through this position tolerance so if you look at the components this datum hole position is controlled with respect to this datum plane this hole feature axis of this hole and this plane are perpendicular so this position stands for the perpendicularity of axis of this hole with respect to this datum plane and other three holes the position is the tolerance is controlled by using two datums one is this datum plane a and another one is this datum hole tolerance is diameter 0.1 and this symbol stands for maximum material condition this i have explained in detail in another video link i will give in the description of this video for better understanding you can go through that and understand now diameter 0.1 for the position what does that indicate so this exact center is the true center that is 100 mm from this this position because this is the datum hole in x axis 100 mm and in y axis 50 mm so the position given by x 100 and y minus 50 so that position is the true center if we draw one circle of diameter 0.1 with this true center so that is the tolerance zone for this position it means the center position of this hole can vary 
within this circle of diameter 0.1. Now, the deviations can be in x-axis and y-axis. Now, the drawing denotes the tolerance in diameter. So, the components of x and y we need to convert to diameter so that we can understand if it is lying within the tolerance of diameter 0.1. Now, this relations between these three sides of this right angle triangle is given by Pythagoras theorem. R square equals x square plus y square. Now, R can be calculated by square root of x square plus y square and diameter we can get by multiplying it by 2. Now the tolerance given is 0.1. So if we assume 0 pi for x and 0 pi for y then the position tolerance in diameter will be given by this and if we calculate it will be 2 multiplied by 0 0.07 that is 0.14. Now using a simple excel file we can calculate this for different different x and y. In one cell, A2 in this example, we can take x deviation and B2 in this example, you can take y deviation and R will be calculated by this formula. Square root and bracket open A2 multiplied by a2 that is nothing but a2 square plus b2 square and that will give you the result of these two x and y deviations and this value multiplied by 2 you will get the diametrical variation and link for this excel file also i will give in the description you can download and use the calculation which uh, we have already seen with x deviation and y deviation how to calculate the diametrical tolerance variation so let us assume that my x-axis is deviated by 0 4 and y axis is deviated by 0, 0, 003. How to calculate the radius? We have already seen the formula. Now, this particular cell is having a formula square root of a2 square plus b2 square. a2 is this, b2 is this. So we get the radius element of this x and y and if we multiply by 2 you will get the diameter element of this deviation. So now let us assume that when I am having 0.1 tolerance if I consider 0 0.5 in x axis then even with 0, 3 in y, I am getting this. Now, if I take 0, 5 in y, so that means both the axes having same deviation, 0, 5 and 0, 5, the result is 0.14. Say, assume that 
my x axis is 0 5 and y axis is 0 then it is 0.1 it means that whatever is the diametrical variation allowed the tolerance position tolerance given half of it if you deviate in only one axis then it is within tolerance then you are not allowed to have any deviation in the other axis so now let us see giving 20 micron so you can see that another 8 micron deviation is added to diameter so this if you have 40 micron and then this 30 micron then you are getting 0.1 and it means that you cannot go by one I mean the half of uh, this tolerance you can go by one third of this deviation so one third mean this divided by 3 0 3 3 you can see 0 3 3 0 3 3 so you are getting uh, something nearby 0.1 so this is what is allowed I hope uh, the calculation is very clear with this your understanding will be very clear on the diametrical tolerance allowed and how much you can go in x and y so if x axis the deviation is zero then you can go up to zero five on the other axis now so far we were considering a 2d now if you look at 3d we already discussed that the perpendicularity of the feature need to be considered this axis is the true position so this is the true center on this plane and this is the true center on this plane so the connecting line is true position axis and this is the measured position so you can note that there is an angle there is an error in the perpendicularity for this hole so the position of this circle and position of this circle will vary and this diameter of this cylinder this green cylinder that shows the position tolerance so any point which is lying within this cylindrical zone will be within tolerance now let us look at machine accuracy and position tolerance let us consider x deviation of 0 1 and y deviation of 0 1 why 0 1 because most of the machines will have positioning accuracy of 0 1 there is 10 microns for both the axis 10 micron so if we calculate the possible diametrical uh, deviation will be 0 0.028 that is 28 micron so this calculation explains why a machine with an accuracy of 0 1 mm cannot maintain a position tolerance of 0 2 5 so 10 micron position accuracy of the machine and 25 micron position tolerance requirement for the part now what we need to consider while calculating the machine accuracy is cumulative effect of position accuracy 
and repeatability.